I had an observation uh, like 11 years ago and at that time I didn't know that there's some people still think that the earth is flat. The observation was something like this. Uh, the sun under the eye level or you can say behind the curve uh, and the, the sun rays are coming from downward upward and as you see here there are there are two layers of clouds a uh, higher one uh, which the sun is coming through because the sun is under this one and the lower layer is totally in darkness and it's only illuminated by the, the reflection from the upper layer and as you see there's no crepuscular ray or anything like that on this layer so what's the observation that I had I was just sitting in the cabin at 335,000 feet uh, it was a 737 that means the cabin width was around uh, 3.5 meters and uh, it was uh, sunset and I was watching sunset it was beautiful uh, but then I look at the other side of the cabin and uh, I saw the sunlight projecting higher than the windows of the opposite side and this got me thinking and then I realized yeah of course because the earth is round or a big ball and uh, as we go higher we can see uh, further and the sunset that I'm observing at that moment is not the sunset of my place it's the sunset of another place uh, on the horizon so this would be a proof for uh, the horizon drop it's very simple and uh, I hope uh, everyone can share this video so maybe if some people are going to fly during sunset or sunrise they can conduct this uh, experiment and uh, you don't you don't need to do much you just have to aim the camera at the uh, sunset but first you have to make sure that uh, the sunset is actual sunset uh, like this photo and it's not uh, clouds it is not haze uh, just zoom in uh, put your sunglass uh, to uh, to avoid the glare of the sun just to make sure it is indeed sunset then just move the camera to the opposite side of the cabin and uh, uh, just send your video and uh, you don't have to tell me uh, the altitude of the flight it, it, this could be uh, a puzzle for me uh, I will look at the photo and I will find out approximately how many centimeters there's a difference and uh, by that angle I can give you the altitude or the approximate altitude of that flight so this is a response also for people who say that uh, the globe weather cannot predict no, we can predict, we can calculate a lot of things. And thank you for watching.